I told my mama we gonna get rich off this emoji. LOL. If you know, you know. <laughs> Zero likes. But I'ma like my shit. Cause at the end of the day, I love me. Don't y'all love me? Alright, we're just gonna hit the intro. All right, what's going on, crypto cousins? It's your Bitcoin baby daddy here with another episode. So today, um, I'm going to show you guys how people are making ridiculous amounts of gains on crypto. Now, I was kind of hesitant on making this video because I know that there are a lot of new people in crypto and they don't know what's actually happening or what's going on. So I just wanted to make sure that I show you guys what's actually happening and maybe you guys can do something like this but this is not me recommending you guys do something like this because at the end of the day this stuff is super risky and if you don't know what you're doing you're gonna get wrecked and you're gonna lose a lot of money so just be careful you know it's all fun and games until somebody loses some money and they try to sue me this ain't financial advice <laughs> But other than that, if you're new here, go ahead, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button because I make content every other day or when I feel like it, you know how it goes. All right, guys. So just like at the title of the video, what we talking about is Uniswap versus Muniswap. All right, guys. So we just going to go in and talk about what Uniswap is first. And then once we do that, then we're going to talk about what Muniswap is and everything that's been going on with it. So if you haven't, if you, if you're living under a crypto rock, or if you're too focused on political things like Joe Biden, um, announcing Kamala Harris as her, as his vice president. So what Uniswap is, is an automated money market. So essentially developers can build code. Like, so this is open source software. Let's just start with that. It's open source software. Anybody can build on top of Uniswap. Anybody can provide liquidity on Uniswap. So it's pretty much an automated money market where in the sense of people can create a token, and this is a very simple generalization of it, but people can create a token, put it on Uniswap, and you can buy the token without any KYC, without any this, without that. All you need is a wallet. So essentially it's a decentralized exchange but in a new form of it in a sense like we've already seen different types of decentralized exchanges but this one is like the the newest hottest bestest and it allows people to provide liquidity or provide money to support these altcoins that are brand new that are brand spanking new when i say brand spanking new guys i'm talking about these coins is brand new but um you can actually make passive income by providing liquidity but and that's but that's really just for the whales that's for people who got money like that but what people mostly do on uniswap is trade and they trade by what by looking for um looking for low cap very low market cap coins because the lower the market cap the more likely it can 10x or 100x or whatever x um just to let you guys know when I was buying YFI, cause you know, I've made a couple of videos on YFI. I actually bought it on Uniswap and I didn't farm it cause I wasn't a yield farmer. So I didn't know what I was doing, but I bought it off Uniswap when somebody was yield farming it. And then they decided I'm going to put this liquidity on Uniswap so that someone can buy it off of me. And that's essentially what I did. But, and then of course I got in a little bit, you know, early. I ain't gonna say I got in early because if I wasn't farming it, you weren't getting in early. But that's essentially what Uniswap does. And um, if you want to look at my tweet, and the people who don't understand my tweet, I'm kind of pissed because I ain't get no likes on that tweet. But people had no clue. But when I say we gonna get rich off, so like right here, it, um, Uniswap tells you strictly anyone can create a name and an ERC token on Ethereum, including creating fake versions of existing tokens and tokens that claim to be represented projects that do not have a token. Similar to Etherscan, the site automatically tracks analytics for all ERC20 tokens independent of token integrity. Please do your own research before interacting with any ERC token. So as you can see right here, like right here, strong, what is it? No one, no one has a clue what strong is, but because they don't even have like probably a white paper out or any information out or anything like that, Uniswap doesn't have anything to put as the token name. So that's how you know that a token is like really, 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 really brand new 
and you can see it right here like look at this token it's only been out since august 8th and it just skyrocketed and now it's like trying to consolidate somewhere but like like look at look at the where this thing started bro it started with like eighty two thousand dollars worth of liquidity in it and now it has about 200 and something 200 like what two hundred fifty thousand dollars of liquidity and now it's going back down um but yeah that's what people are doing this coin's only been around like eight days so uniswap doesn't have anything to put on the face and so when i put that tweet out saying i told my mom we gonna get rich off this emoji <laughs> that's what i meant but of course no one really paying attention you know people just out here trying to get these gains but at least you understand what uniswap is now the reason why people love uniswap so much is because because there's no centralized authority because there's no because it's a dex anybody i mean anybody so it's really more of like anyone in the world can put liquidity on here anyone in the world can create a token and put it on here and like i said the easiest way people are making 10x 20x on their money is by putting their money in a very low cap coin, letting it 10X, 20X, and then taking their money out and on to the next one, rinse and repeat. Now granted, this is an easy, as easy as we thought it was because there are a lot of scam coins. Because people who understand how to actually build on top of Uniswap, they know this, and they're ready to scam people out their money with a, with a hardness, all right? But, enough of that talk um enough of trying to explain what uniswap is if you haven't there's like thousands and like thousands of youtube videos already but i'm gonna actually go show you guys how to actually use uniswap it's in the video name of the video so i guess i gotta do it um so right here what you want to do is you want to connect an ethereum wallet all this is built on ethereum guys that's why when when people be talking about Ethereum killers, you be talking about Cardano, all this and that, and no shots to all these other competitor coins that are trying to be like Ethereum, but let's keep it real. Nobody's using anything that's on some other blockchain. Neo, uh, um, Cardano, Tezos, like none of them have any kind of functionality like this yet. And so everyone's gonna be on Ethereum right now. Maybe in the future that's gonna change, but right now, ethereum's where it's at guys that's why ethereum's price is pumping that's why everyone's getting excited um defi 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 let's see if i can get some clicks off of that <laughs> um but anyways back to this tutorial so you're gonna have to have an ethereum wallet you're gonna have to have some ethereum in that wallet and yeah so right here what you want to do is you want to connect the wallet it's gonna ask you there are different types of wallet you can do metamask coinbase wallet all types of wallets so you can connect your metamask it's gonna say oh hey blah 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 yes blah 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 yes so what it's actually doing is connecting it's asking permission to connect to your wallet your personal wallet and so once you've given it permission to connect to your personal wallet hey we lit what you want to do is i don't even think i have any eth in this wallet i don't even know how much <sighs> what i got in here I got 11 yeah okay so it's, it's starting to pop up so i got like about 11 dollars in eth so what you would do is um i'm gonna just hit max just because and then i'll select a token and pretty much any erc 20 token anything token that's <laughs> any erc token that you see on ethereum it, it it's it's gonna be so like right here if you wanted to get some stake boom so what we'll do is you I just put max so it'd just be like the whole eleven dollars of my Ethereum and it's gonna transfer it to whatever. But you see right here it's already saying infant infant insufficient funds, insufficient liquidity for this trade. So what this essentially saying is I don't have enough Ethereum in my wallet to make this trade. In the sense of it's gonna cost Ethereum to do this transaction. If you get what I'm saying, so you're not only going to have to have Ethereum in your wallet to buy the coin you want, but you're going to have to have Ethereum in your wallet set aside to burn for the fees because gas fees are ridiculous right now. And so that, this is one of the reasons why gas fees are so ridiculous right now. And I know the miners of Ethereum going crazy, but essentially that's what you would do. You'd connect. It'll tell you the amount of whatever coin you're going to get. And granted, you can do this with any coin. That you have so say if you had like what is it if you had some zero x you could take the zero x flip it to stake you could have what is it true usd flip it to bat 
you can pretty much any ERC token as long as it has some liquidity on it you can pretty much hey I got a shirt thing on today hey I didn't realize I had a horse shirt on today hey my bad y'all I, I I got distracted for a second so you guys understand the, the whole structure it's a decentralized exchange it allows you to do um it allows you to make trades it allows you to get low cap alt speculative altcoins and the reason why um you don't see these altcoins on major exchanges it's because major exchanges like binance and coinbase and stuff it go like they gonna have to get some bread for you to, for you to be listed on those exchanges and by that point you know what i'm saying it's a little too late to make these ridiculous gains but you know you know swap is here for the little guy like me because <laughs> i'm little guys so at least you guys understand what uniswap is now we're gonna go into what Muniswap is so what is Muniswap, guys guys it's it's the exact same thing it's the exact same thing it's actually a competitor to uniswap it has a nice little whatever whatever but you essentially go through the same process blah connect yes connect connect and it's literally the exact same thing um you can select a token now granted uniswap just came out yesterday like i'm recording this today so it came out yesterday you Muniswap just came out yesterday and of course it's like oh i didn't know i had some Z czrx in here if i knew that i would have picked Z czrx so I, I got some see and this is crazy because i have some compound zrx which is zrx sitting in compound earning interest and i can trade that compound zrx see this is the thing like you can't do that on like a regular exchange trading compound zrx with regular zrx i know i know guys i know this is confusing i i i, I completely understand like and i can flip it to zrx back to that muniswap is actually made by of course the people that i love the most um one inch so if you know, if guys haven't used one inch i've talked about it a lot in my live streams i may think i made a couple of videos on it with it but yeah so you can see right here one inch is a dex aggregator which means it connects to a whole bunch of dexes and now they got Muniswap on here <laughs> it connects to a whole bunch of dexes so that way you, and it finds the best price for these dexes and whatnot but they're the ones that created Muniswap pretty much and of course you know uniswap's open source software so they can just copy it and make some better um i would guess some better changes to it at least that's what vitalik thinks so right here you can see a tweet from vitalik saying new automated money market based on anti front running ideas from whatever so it's pretty much built on some things that vitalik was talking about how we should build these um automated money markets a little bit different so that way there's no x amount of whatever whatever they talking about code stuff i don't know what about it but at least i know that um vitalik is out here promoting Muniswap. so of course people are on it now granted this site was down yesterday because people could not get into <laughs> people couldn't get into this bit but what are my thoughts on Muniswap? it's brand new um of course when something's brand new you want to make sure to be safe for what you're doing my, now for me for my personal thoughts and ideas on Muniswap, um from what i've seen in the crypto space when a good idea comes out and someone tries to make a copy of that good idea that copy of that good idea is never really as good as the original idea and that's just and i'm not saying that Muniswap. you know i love the one inch team shout out to the one inch team i love i love i love the one inch team but this I I'm, I'm, I'm gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna see how people are really using it. But from my experience, when people try to make ETH killers, cause they cause ETH was a hot thing, all the ETH killers are in. When people try to make the next Bitcoin, all the other Bitcoin clothes are in. You know what I'm saying? So this may be like that. This might be like that. But from one of my experience in the crypto space, I've this is how it usually turns out. Now, of course, you go to a little couple of articles where they talk about automated money markets um and how it's um backed by one inch one inch of the ones who made it blah 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 liquidity pools DeFi, 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 everything that i just said now one thing that does worry me about what's happening um with one inch and Muniswap and all that um so binance is getting in the game if you guys didn't know so mike novogratz binance lab 
they're providing $2.8 million and a couple other people, $2.8 million to the one inch project. And so if you know that, that means it's one inch, Munaswap, anything that they're build, Binance and all the, and you know, the whole crew of VC investors are getting into the DeFi sector in this way. Now, I remember I saw a tweet from somebody who, who tweeted about this. He says, well, I guess I'll wait for the one inch token where um, Binance is going to have X amount of the supply immediately. And br br honestly, that's exactly what I feel like is going to happen. And, you know, as much as people say that they that it's not going to happen, I feel like it's going to happen this time. And, you know, crypto is supposed to be about the little guy trying to get bigger and do this, that. But as we can see, um, money talks at the end of the day, money talks. And we're going to just see like I, I was super excited about the one inch token because I felt like I could get in on the ground floor and get these X gains. But now that I see that um, they getting VC funding, any token that they come out with I already know is going to be in the hands of a, a, a centralized exchange ready to dump on my head. So just be careful about that. Um, but yeah, guys, other than that, man, that's all I have for you guys today. What do you think about Uniswap? What do you think about Muniswap? Um, are you going to be, or do you use any other two? Are you out here trying to get these low cap gems? Let me know in the comments below. Other than that, check me out next time. Take it easy. Peace. Yeah. You know what time it is. Oh, season. We still in it somehow. I'm getting a little worried though, because, um, all season lasting a little bit longer than I thought it would. And with Bitcoin doing this little double top right now. We gonna see how it goes, but you know, I got my finger on the trigger. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to stable coin up, ready for the next, <laughs> ready for the next downturn. But man, other than that, man, take it easy. Check me out, man. Y'all know what it is.